Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday. Have you ever heard of Rosie Ruiz? Well, in 1980, at the 84th annual Boston Marathon, Rosie Ruiz was declared the winner in her category with an astounding time of 2 hours, 31 minutes, and 56 seconds. Unfortunately, a few days later, it was discovered that Rosie didn't win. She cheated. She never ran the full race. She darted in and out of the crowd and came out onto the track at about a mile and a half before the finish line and finished from there. Why did she go through all of this for such an elaborate race? Rosie said, I wanted to win. Now, how many of us will do whatever it takes sometimes to win? Instead of doing the hard work, we look for the hookup, find the shortcut, or step on other people. Sure, we may actually win doing that, but that win is never long-lasting. Eventually, you're going to have to fess up to the fact that you probably just didn't do the work. If you're really going to win in life, in business, in relationships, in your finances, you're going to have to do the hard work. You're going to have to sit down and learn it. And then you're going to have to do more training. And then you're going to have to stand up, fall down, fail, and win. But in the end, if you keep trying, you will win. And you'll win the best way possible because you earned it. So instead of taking the easy left, sometimes it's about taking that hard right. Winning isn't everything. Being honest, keeping your character, standing up for what you believe in, those are the things that help you to really win. But those things also take hard work. You've heard it said that nice guys finish last. And do you know why they do? Because they take the time, they make sure to do it right, and they help others so that in the end, they win for life. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and thank you so much for sharing the video. My name is Ricky Smith, and I'll see you next Friday.